I have to make a confession here. So I, I don't have a supply chain related degree, though I did uh, some courses afterwards. Uh, I have a finance and marketing background. And uh, so to speak, I, I happened to, to be in supply chain. But uh, I think this has been a journey, a fantastic journey in the past 25 years. So, so to speak, I didn't regret it uh, because uh, the great thing for supply chain is that it's interdisciplinary. So it's kind of between manufacturing and commercial operations. And then uh, with Kite and also with other pharma companies, we are in direct connection to the patient. And uh, I have really the privilege to feel that I can make a big impact on our patient's life. I'm a head of uh, Supply Chain Europe and a little bit of background. So I joined the company four years ago and my anniversary was actually a week ago. So it's a kind of a journey. It uh, doesn't sound like a very long uh, time, but within Kite, it's absolutely it is. I was one of the first hires in Europe in uh, manufacturing operations. And uh, yeah, the dynamic nature is that uh, I had the opportunity to set up a supply chain organization from really bottom up. I was the first employee and everyone who got hired was either hired directly by me or by the people uh, that uh, I could hire. Also, uh, we uh, as a team set up the whole distribution uh, for uh, the US manufacturing operations. And then when Kite made the decision to set up the Amsterdam manufacturing site, which actually you can see behind me, uh, I was contributing to set up a couple of operations like materials planning, sourcing, uh, the launch, the whole uh, product lifecycle management and uh, launch team. And uh, yeah, it's, it's still ongoing. So uh, one of the key challenges is that we are still looking for a lot of talents for our operations. And uh, as also the consequence of uh, hiring everyone, it's, uh, I, I have uh, really the pleasure to shape and create a great culture that we currently have at Kite in our Europe operations as well. So to go back to organization and culture, so the contribution uh, to set up an organization and shape a culture, but also uh, from operation perspective as one of the first hires, uh, I was uh, present at a lot of milestones. So uh, we had inspections a uh, lot. So first of all, we had an inspection for uh, set up our distribution activities. I was with the company also during the approval of our uh, two products on the market. Also, when we shipped the first lot to our patient, and also when we ultimately manufactured for our first patient in Europe. These are also very emotional and, and very great moments. Uh, we are uh, uh, also one of the, the companies, uh, the first companies who manufacture in Europe and uh, certainly uh, we started with a uh, uh, manufacturing company, external manufacturing company. We did uh, a transition. So when we started our own operations from outsourced operations, that was also a nice moment uh, to, to live. And uh, this all uh, uh, brings us uh, to the capability, to build up the capability that we supply reliably and, and also high quality products. And uh, the fact that I'm uh, leading a supply chain organization that I feel is a key to enable uh, this due to the complexity of our supply chain operations. This makes me also proud that uh, supply chain can make a huge difference in uh, our make to order uh, setup at Kite. Uh, we have I would say short and long-term focus. So at the moment, uh, we are to complete uh, what we call manufacturing uh, transition for European patients. So we would like by end of this year to manufacture uh, for uh, one of our first products for all the patients uh, in Europe, in our Amsterdam facility, which we call TCF04, again behind me in the background. 
and uh, certainly uh, this requires still a lot of hiring and uh, training uh, and just to point out that in cell therapy you have a very specific knowledge not only in supply chain also in quality manufacturing so uh, besides the ramp up and hiring uh, one of the key challenges is uh, to create a, a training program and uh, we are also as uh, a kite operations in the Netherlands uh, in uh, great collaboration with universities to create a cell therapy training curricula. And then going to some other areas other than people, I think a key uh, challenge is also technology. So uh, we are uh, doing a lot of technology developments. Uh, we are uh, creating a lot of uh, flexibility with the uh, so-called fresh manufacturing process, which uh, got approved uh, by uh, European authorities. So this means that uh, we don't uh, do any freezing during the manufacturing process, but uh, we go bring in the cells and then do a straightforward manufacturing. And then a little bit looking out, I uh, would like to go to the next level of automation. So this would allow also our people to use their full potential, ultimately through reducing the manual work. We'd like to upgrade also our systems. So uh, we would like to uh, have electronic batch recording. We'd like to automate the quality uh, control uh, systems, uh, just to increase reliability, reduce uh, manual input. And then we are also looking for capacity expansion because uh, our volumes are nicely increasing. And then, as I said, uh, besides that, this would allow us the full manufacturing transfer for both of our products, which got approved in Europe from our US manufacturing to Europe. 